Hey everyone, it's Simon Holy from Inclips. Today I'm taking a bunch of products, older, newer, and products that I've loved in the past. I'm going to mix it all together to create an awesome under the sea card. So I'm going to start off by stamping down all of the images onto a piece of thick cardstock with Copic friendly ink because I'm going to be coloring in with Copics later. I've had this stamp set for such a long time and I've tried to use it so many times in the past on videos but it's never worked out so today I finally got to use it once again. I'm going to be mixing the whole family of animals together and don't worry they won't eat each other and we're going to be making a fun and colorful under the sea card with a bunch of different colorful little fish. I haven't used Copics in such a long time, but I'm starting off by using my grays on this big huge whale here. I'm starting off with a darker gray in the corners and on the tops, and then I'm going to go in with a medium gray to blend that all out, and finally with the lightest color to blend all of it out throughout the entire whale. Then I'm going to move on to the shark, which was a little bit harder to do because I wanted it to have some more variation but not blend in with the water, because if you make it too blue, it blends in with the water. So I'm mixing some blues and grays in together. You really don't have to stick with the same color family, especially when you're coloring with Copics. You can kind of mix it up a little bit because they all kind of blend together if you force them to. Then I'm coloring in this fish yellow with two different shades, and I'm going to move on to this red little salmon colored fish here. And I'm going to color that in with three shades as well, shading the parts where there's so many lines in the stamp detail that they've made on the fish. I'm going to just blend that all out with the lightest color here and moving on to this teal little fish. I think the best way to color these is with super bright colors, that way your card stands out and you have some fish that don't blend in with the water. To make my background, I'm using Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. I used to love these in the past and kind of forgot about them, so I'm revisiting them today to make a background. They're watercolor markers that kind of are like an actual brush on the inside. They're really fun to use and they give great results. So I'm just coloring them in with three different shades here on the background. Then I'm going to use some Wink of Stella to add some shimmer to this background and to blend it all together. It's sort of like a watercolor pen here, and I'm going to be mixing these all together since they are reactant with water. They all blend really nicely together. Then I'm going to take it with a stencil and spread it with water from up above. This will react with the water from below because the Zig Clean colors really never stop reacting with water. Then I'm going to take a paper towel to this and remove some of the color and add some texture from that stencil onto the piece so it makes an even more underwater look. I'm adding all the animals onto the thing. This was a little bit of a hard process, but after moving them around quite a bit, I found a scene that I liked where all the animals were kind of coming together. Then I'm adding a Concord and Ninth die cut that says grateful and a sentiment that says for you, which is heat embossed with white embossing powder on a black piece of cardstock. Alright guys, that finishes up today's card. I really enjoyed coming back with a new underwater card with some older products to show you guys how to reuse some of your products you might have used in the past and incorporate them with something you've never used before. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below to become a part of the Inclips family. I'll leave two videos linked on the screen if you want to see more of my content here and also there will be a link to my blog post which has all of the links to all the products that I've used in today's video. I'll see you guys very soon in another card making and crafting, DIY, whatever kind of video I do next. See you guys soon. Bye.